Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. It's Amin here with Sira Masters developing the Muslim mindset for success. Come drive with me in this video. We talk about three ways to make sure you read more. Okay, so uh, maybe it's a whole other video to explain why you need to be reading. Uh, one just quick reason is that reading is a very uh, much a deeper level of learning. Um, it forces you to consume information at a, the right pace that will allow you to digest it and process it and think about it as you read. Whereas videos, a lot of the time, your mind is taken away by the, you know, the quick fire changing changes of frames and the entertainment kind of part of the video, and therefore, you know, the learning is different, right? There is a place for video, but books are just next level when it comes to ideas and really digesting what you're supposed to be benefiting from right so that's one reason to read now how can you get yourself to read more uh, now that you're you know you know that it's a very important thing well the first thing you need to do is to pick books that you're genuinely interested in you know someone I was telling them recently they should uh, read this book by Ibn al-Qayyim it's, it's about patience and gratitude it's like amazing book and I've, I read it a while ago um, and I just thought, you know, this person would benefit from it so much. But they were telling me that I feel like I know, I feel like I've heard about this book and I, I've, I know about it and I feel like there's nothing much I can gain from it. Now, although I disagree with that, what's important is that you read the book that will, you will read, okay? And so that's the first tip, is to read books that you generally find an interest in, and therefore you're going to have that motivation to read. Because the truth is, uh, it's already hard enough to, to read uh, books, right? To get into the habit. A lot of people struggle with that. Uh, and so you, you need to make motivation on your side, okay? The number two thing is to, just how I recommend to read Quran, for a certain time limit per day, do the same with books. Uh, so you might want to start with 10 minutes a day, where you read 10 minutes per day, and when the t you put a timer on your phone, when that timer runs out, you're going to stop reading. And you just do that every day. I mean, ideally it's every day. If not, it should be three, four times a week, because because it's a short habit to build, you want it to be quite regular. If you do it once per week, it doesn't really become that habit, okay? So the other tip, second tip I have is to read based on a timer, okay? And therefore, when you're getting bored, when you, you, you've got notification coming in your phone and this and that, and you're getting distracted, uh, you, you can just uh, say, I've got only got a minute left, only got a few minutes left, it's not that long, let me just keep going, okay? Uh, and the third tip I would give is to make reading accessible to yourself. So I'm not saying definitely you must read on a Kindle or on your phone or whatever, but if that is going to give you the ease and the motivation to create it as a habit, then that's what you need to do. So Kindle has an app uh, on the iPhone, on Android, etc., where if you buy Kindle books from Amazon, um, you can send them straight to your phone. And then any spare minute here and there that you get, it's very convenient to just take out your phone and start reading okay and obviously that would mean you need to probably turn your internet off uh, so you don't get distracted because notifications and all that stimulus is uh, pretty much the enemy of uh, of reading uh, and of concentrating developing that concentration um, other than that you know you could buy a kindle uh, you could have a book in your bag uh, which is always with you when you're going out whatever but just whatever it takes to to do that right so these are my three tips for reading. Reading is incredible. Reading, <laughs> believe me folks, reading will change your lives. Okay, <laughs> that's my Trump impression. Uh, yep, yeah, thanks for driving home from the masjid with me. Uh, I hope this was beneficial. Implement it now. I always love it when I get comments of people saying, wow, this is great. And then I reply and I say, well, have you implemented it? And they say, yes, it did this, this, this for me. So uh, I love that. Let me see some comments like that, inshallah. And I will reply to every single one of them, inshallah, as I always do. Um, there's been Sira Masa, it's been a while, I'm back. Uh, make sure you, you're checking out my podcast because sometimes I'm uploading there more often than here sometimes but what I should be doing inshallah is one per week for each one right so uh, I should be keeping up consistently now um, yeah share this video with someone that, that might need it assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah